Hello and welcome to Squirm. I said I'd do a let's play of this yesterday, but I didn't because I don't know why I just kind of got distracted by the fact that Dark Souls 3 sort of works on Linux now. Anyway, yeah, so you just started the game. There's this dude, but I'm not going to talk to him because I'm going for progress and I've played this game like four times now. Um, set of trying to get all the stars. It's not as easy as you'd think. I'm going to run through this bit. You'll notice that uh, I'm being told how to pause the game, which is useful. Don't want to touch these spikes. They, they are spikes. There's that guy. He's got a weird spike head. Um, bounce. Never mind. I touched him and I died. Um, oh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what's going on. I don't really know what to do about this. But either way, yeah, this game is named Squirm. It is the sequel to a freeware game released on Game Jolt called Squim. Um, Squim was pretty good. It was basically like this, but kind of smaller. It had more like more multiple endings. This one does have multiple endings. I think it has two. But um, Squim, I remember having more than two. I could be wrong about that because I haven't played Squim for a while. I I didn't get all the endings. But either way, yeah, this is better than Squim. But Squim is also moderately representative of how good Squirm is. So well, it's representative of what Squirm really is. Squirm is just better Squirm. But yeah, it's good. This was obviously made by, um, as I've been trying to say several times and getting distracted because I'm bad at multitasking, this was made by Alex Carpenter, who is um, a, obviously a game developer. I don't know how I even intended to start that sentence. Um, I'll go into this area. Kind of difficult to see what's going on because everything's real dark. Alright, so this is kind of the lava level that I'm in right now. I'm kind of just opening these switches to get that door open. Um, it's not that difficult. Um, I've died, I think, 60 times? Uh, yeah, something like that. So, I have all but one of the keys now, and this is where the game starts getting... Oh. It crashed. Okay, in a moment we will be able to see the game getting really good. That kind of killed my momentum there, I was hoping for a nice little moment, but okay, apparently not. Anyway, that has never happened to me before and I've never seen anybody else mention it, so... Alright, uh, yes, let's blast off. Yeah, this this bit's this bit's good, and from here I think the game gets gets very good. Uh, it's a neat little platformer. So far, the progression has been real nice, real smooth. Uh, it's felt good. I like it.
I think we might actually have a chance of destroying this boss now. Uh, been a few tries. Yes, there we go. We've done it. We sort of win for some definition of the word. Anyway, now we got eaten, and now we're in his stomach, and that's, I think, the end of the game. Uh, we got eaten. I don't really know how to get out of this. I don't think there is a way to get out of this. We kind of get eaten, and there's this nice little story exposition at the end. Um, and overall, yeah, Squirm's a pretty good game. I would recommend it. Um, there's not a lot more to it than that. There's a typo right there, awkward. It says, haha, I can't believe you missed that. Ah, silly idiot. But, um, yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, the platforming feels good. It's responsive. Uh, the level design is quite clever. The, the collectibles are good. Uh, really, every aspect of this game is, uh, you know, it's good. Um, I just wish it was a bit more difficult, I guess. Maybe a bit more difficult. There we go, and now we get to see how many stars we collected, because this is a Let's Play video, I decided it should be, well, I should be completionist about it, so I collected all the stars. And, ooh, there is hope for me, how lovely. Ooh. Oh boy, what's this? Is this a secret ending? Is this a hidden level? Is this extra stuff we can...